Oh, would you look at that? Another beautiful goddamn day in the desert. You know, you got the windmills out there. All right, you know, not the, not the most scenic. And they do cause cancer, too. Remember that. According to the president, they do cause cancer, okay? So I'm going to have tumors coming out my goddamn ears, so, you know, all kinds of different uh, cancers and whatnot after this. Got a nice little hesperocallus coming up. You got your ambrosia. You got a nice sparrow cactus over here. Oh, you got a central stigma. Always a stunner. Got some nice canactus, probably stevioides. Oh, you got a nice uh, cremaria, which is actually uh, partially parasitic, if you could believe that. Got some uh, obnoxious uh, Sahara mustard. I have to rip that out of my way back. Nice sorrel thamnus, Fabaceae. Look at those, uh, look at those pea-like flowers on it. Beautiful uh, indigo color, eh? Linear leaves on this species. You ever see a Pelastales thurberi? It's a parasite that uh, lives entirely within the plant, though it may not be in this one. It only comes out the flower. You just see these little orange nodules that are technically flowers. You get up close, you can see them that uh, emerge from the stem. And of course, another personal favorite, Ocotillo, Fucuria splendens. There's some wild species of Fucuria in Mexico. You got, I think you got like 10 or 11 in a genus. Fucuria columnaris, of course, is uh, otherworldly. The bujum tree, which you get down in Baja. Look at those flowers. Quite obviously pollinated by a hummingbird. Red and tubular with the prominently exerted uh, stamens. And of course, when they mature, they're just a little capsule with winged seeds. The seeds got wings. Let's see if you can find some old ones here. Yeah, see, there you, well, there's the capsule. The seeds are already out. See, the capsule's just, the, the the calyx just forms a little capsule. Petals fall out, then the calyx forms a little capsule. And uh, I grew one of these from seed once, Digoedii, which is grows in southern Baja. And, of course, the leaves are deciduous. They're drought deciduous. So, you know, when it gets a little too hot, you know, has it rained in a month or two, hot as balls, uh, just completely drops the, uh, the leaves. And it's just a, basically a... Just a, a barbed spine sticking out the ground in the desert. Well, a cluster of barbed spines. Look at the new growth, too. Look at how soft it is. Very, very soft. And those petioles have not uh, matured into spines yet. You can see the spines are basically just uh, petioles. They're basically just leaf stems. See, compare, compare that with this. How about that? Beautiful color on these fuckers when they... uh. When they come out too, when a new growth emerges, look at a nice bark. Ooh, that bark is nice. Look at that texture, huh? What are you doing in quarantine? Why don't you try drawing some of this shit, you prick? Orders Eric Kelly, same order as blueberries. Can you believe that? And uh, look here, you got Cylindra Puncha Bigelovii, okay, Teddy Bear Choya. All right, and look what it's doing. Look, you see you got a little one there, little one there, little one there. These things break off very easily, okay, as you can see. Oh, shit. Uh, anyway, they break off very easily. So you get the winds coming through here. The wind breaks these off, okay? That's why, they, I mean, it's windy as hell here. That's why they put the goddamn, the towers here, you know? It should be obvious, but, you know, you never know. Don't want to don't wanna overestimate anybody, all right? And, uh... The wind comes through, and knocks these off, and then they readily root into the ground. I was trying to find one that had a little, uh, a little root poking out of the bottom. You know, when they do it, it looks like little feet. It's kind of nice. Let me get this guy off my goddamn. Easiest way to handle these is, Jesus Christ! Look at it. You could see why they're a pain in the ass. Dogs hate these things. You don't want to have dogs out when you're out fucking around in Choya territory, or if you do, you want to at least train them to stay away from this. Okay, but see, so the wind knocks these off, and then over time. You know, cacti again are like little batteries. It'll have enough juice in there, hopefully, to stick a root out into the ground. And uh, hopefully do so before the next rain. See, here's one that actually took. See that? Pretty goddamn interesting. So it's quite likely that all those uh, 
All the teddy bear choy you see out there are all technically the same individual. All clones are the same individual. Oh, yeah! Oh, look at that! Imagine how that would be if one of those blades which is spinning at probably 200 miles per hour were to uh, come off that axis and completely smash me to bits. Nice to, uh, why don't you come out here and just uh, take a mild dose of psychedelics and contemplate your own existence as well as the dystopian sci-fi future that we're headed towards, huh? I gotta say though, you know what those look? They may, they may be kind of a bummer for the scenery, but it sure is cleaner air to breathe than some massive, uh, you know, fucked up oil extraction project, you know? Not ideal, but, uh, you know, I guess it's not going anywhere soon. The axis of those is probably only spinning 30 to 40 miles per hour, but the outer blades, you know, well upwards of 120 to 200 miles per hour, probably. Anyway, nice to kill you right here. Baragin ACA. Look at that leaf texture, too. Look at those veins. Look at that prominent venation. Bolate, you might call that. When they're kind of, you know, flexed, the, flexed up like that. You know, almost concave from the bottom. Nice little flowers, too. The Kilias are pretty incredible. You get a bunch of gypsum endemic to Kilias as well. But, uh, of course, the substrate here is just this uh, decomposed granite. Sand. Sand, basically a result of, uh, you know, eons of weathering granite. Oh, yeah, this is nice, too. Look at this. Some people don't like the Choyas, okay? And this is a different species than the one I showed you before, okay? Some people don't like the choyas. Others think that it's funny to get hammered and throw these pieces at each other with your friends, okay? Though I don't drink now and haven't for almost four years, some of the best memories of my life did include getting hammered and a, you know, with a gloved hand, taking chunks of this and lobbing them at your friends. You just, you know, everyone's wearing a, your sunglasses so you don't get any in your eyes, okay? It's uh, painful as hell. It's a, it's fucking hilarious, and uh, you know the screaming, uh, tearing these things away from your flesh, and also tearing out chunks of your flesh and bleeding profusely too. It was quite funny. We had many good times. This specific species is a rather rare one. This is Cylindra puncher wolfii, and look at those goddamn blooms. Look at it. Tell, look at that. Tell me you don't like that, okay? It's just a look, but don't touch plant, and it's fine, huh? You gotta grow up everybody, huh? Are you like Joe Biden? What the fuck? Just don't, you know, don't touch it. Don't, you stay away from it and admire from a distance, okay? Look at that. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Look at that stigma. Beautiful people's on this bastard, okay? And let's see if, uh, let's see if these glockets, these have not hardened off yet. Because this is soft tissue. Though they still do up, yet they got a little bit of the Velcro thing going on. They got those barbed spines. If you were to look at those spines under an electron microscope, you'd see the little barbs on them. I, lo I love Cylindra Puncha. I like mean and beautiful plants, okay? Some of the best friendships I have started off antagonistically. You know, we were fighting each other, talking shit, okay? A couple times we came to blows, all right? Same with plants. Some of the, some of the plants I love the most hurt me at first, you know? But it's okay. I got, I got you know, thick enough skin. Actually, I'm a big softy inside. Big softy. Big softy. Anyway, so Cylindra Punch of Wolfie, I rather. Look at that trunk. Look at that trunk. Now look at those old spines. You gotta love the choice. Again, Opuntia subfamily. Opuntia, if you're gonna be a, you know, a princess about it. Opuntia subfamily of the cactus family, Cactaceae. Remember, they're famous for having the glockets. Which, let's see if this, uh, if I can show you any here. Any glockets, any little fiberglass hair sticking out of those aerials? Not that I could see. No, but, uh, you know, the prickly pears have the glockets. Uh, Cylindro Puncha does not. Maybe, well, some of them do, but this one doesn't because uh, they don't need them. You know, those fucking spines are some of the meanest in the cactus family. Okay, though, you know, I, I, I do got to say, the style and the stigma in there, it does kind of look like a dong. Okay, and I, I implore all of you to go, you know, it's campaign season, go find the political ads, you know, the politicians, they normally got those shit-eating grins, and just draw, draw a dick on it somewhere, you know, preferably uh, near the face the face area. It's funny, best piece of uh, subway graffiti you could do, okay, 
next to drawing a mustache on ads. Okay, it's just just altering just altering the ads. I'd never do it to Bernie, but I'd almost I'd do it to almost everybody else. Okay. Look at that nice full frontal of that. How about that? Okay, so yesterday I showed you a uh, plant in the genus Folisma, Folisma sonore. It's in the family Boraginaceae. Some people classify it in the family Lenoaceae, which uh, the whole family Lenoaceae is, of course, entirely parasitic with a disjunct distribution in Colombia as well as uh, uh, North America. However, uh, you know, this plant is the same genus, Folisma, but it's a little bit, uh, little bit different of a species, and it's got a little bit more wider of a range. This is uh, Folisma Arenaria. Arenaria just meaning sand loving. You can see this one's in full flower. Again, no chlorophyll, no green. Doesn't do any photosynthesis on its own, just uh, entirely uh, parasitic right here. Hey, where are you taking it, Canactus Akeem? Where are you taking it? Give me that. You can't have that. That's mine. That's mine. Look at that guy. Another one. Oh, look at those flowers. It's pretty nice, huh? It's pretty attractive. Look, there's the old one right there from last year. Coming up uh, just beneath the uh, granitic sand. How do you like that? Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good. Just uh, right in the uh, mouth breather's uh, ATV tracks. Look, you got the redneck detritus, too. Yes, they can't, uh, you know, take some cans or bottles out. You know, maybe less uh, destructive. You could clean the cans up afterwards at least. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. There's a bunch. Get this fucking thing out of here, jerk-offs. Look at that. You know, punk in the ambrosia, which means that the ambrosia roots, you know, those am that ambrosia's got roots that are coming out all the way over here. Poor Ambrosia. Everybody's always stealing from the Ambrosia, you know? If Ambrosia was a human, he'd be a patsy. It's okay. Ambrosias are doing fine. Very, very uh, ecologically successful. They're fucking everywhere. He's, get a nice gander at that. Oh, that makes you feel pretty good. It's like watching a sunset, huh? You feeling better? Feeling less like uh, you want to hit somebody in head with a chain? I don't know where I got that. Don't you know? Just don't you don't take me too literally, okay? Don't want to get you ideas in your head. Just popping out the granitic sand. Look at this guy. Look, see, this is why looks like a you know almost like a truffle poking out. Of course, you can see those uh, vestigial leaves down there. Those little bricks. You like the bricks. You like the bricks. Okay, can you find a grasshopper in his uh, in his frame? Huh? Perfect camouflage. Look at that. Ooh. Look, he's looking right at me. What? You got something to say? What's going on? I'm just taking pictures as a public place. Well, you know, like, you gonna try and sue me? Huh? Okay, but back to the ambrosia, though. Okay, it's really, it's kind of funny, okay? Because if, you know, again, if Ambrosia was a human, he'd be like the rich kid. Everyone goes to his house just to eat the food out the fridge. Even if you really don't like the guy, you know. You ever have friends like that? They got rich parents. You know, when you're a kid, you go to the fridge. You go to their house just to raid their fridge and eat all their snacks and stuff. They don't mind. They got, you know, they've got plenty. Vestigial leaves. Vestigial leaves. How do you spend your whole life underground? You just come out once a year. For two weeks to flower? That's it? But what do you do when you're underground? You spend your whole life underground. You're like Kafka. You're like a plant version of Kafka. Why do you do that? Huh? You don't want to stick your head up every once in a while? I mean, I guess you do, technically, but it's it's really not that often, you know? You're, you're, you're quite elusive. Oh, look at those nice brakes. You like the brakes? You like, you like the brakes, huh? Hey, look, it's Dytheria Californica again. Brassicaceae. See those four petals? Mostly basal leaves. You got a couple of carline leaves too. 
goes well with the uh, cryptanth and the malacotrix. You know, it's rain on my ass. I'm cold and wet, okay? But it's a beautiful day in the desert. Mm, hashtag grateful. Mm, yeah. You know, I can't complain. Nice connectus. Oh, pale foxy, too. There's always a fucking... There's always a stunner. Nice. Look at that. Look at it. Tell me you got a problem with it. You don't got a problem with it. Huh? Oh, look, it's a spurge. Oh, quick, somebody get Nathan Taylor out here. It's one of the euphorbias, the weird, uh, you know, prostrate the ground dwelling euphorbias. Weird little bastards, you know, easy to overlook, but still uh, still pretty cool. Redneck detritus. Look at it. See this? This is a, oh, yeah, there's a freshie coming up. Look at that guy. Huh? See, so this philisma is much more ubiquitous, and it has a wider distribution than the other one. Then a Felisma sonore. Okay, you know, it's a, uh, I'm cold and wet, and it's, it's uh, pissing on me. Desert smells incredible right now, by the way. All right, I should probably get in. All right, that's all I got for today. Uh, why don't you, uh, why don't you have a nice time? Why don't you sit down, make yourself a sandwich, drink a cup of coffee? All right, read something, okay? Go fuck yourself, bye.